you go to the classroom and they work on your head, but there's more to life than what's in your head. There's what's in your gut. I think I gave uh, the generations before me and the generations after me somebody to talk about and be, to be proud to be, you know, an Ivy League football player. You know, education, is, it, it's, it's the most cliche and easy thing to say in the world, but it, it is the most important thing. selected as the Heisman Trophy winner. All I could think of was, gee, isn't that nice? I have to go to class. Dowling is just dangerous every time he has his hands on the ball. And Marinaro has broken the NCAA career rushing record. Columbia in the midst of a three-year losing streak. Three years without a win. There's something metaphoric about football. It's the way we developed this country. It's a fight over land. It's a fight over yardage. It's, it's the struggle between purity and almost capitalism. I don't remember a single commercial exploitation. I don't even remember, never in any stadium, an advertisement. I don't remember logos on our uniforms and our shoes. I don't even remember what kind of ball we used. My high school coach told me to go to the University of Pennsylvania an Ivy League school where you get an education. That's the great thing about the Ivy League, is that you can sit there and all of a sudden you say, there's a whole other world out there. Ideas were flying around like bullets. Football was just part of that. People aren't paying you to play football. You're playing football because you love it and you're playing for your teammates, you're playing for your school, you're playing for tradition, you're playing for pride. What Ivy League football and Yale football in particular is just a microcosm of what Yale and the Ivy League really represent. A real commitment to get people who are trying to and have the ability to really achieve at the highest level. I wanted to play pro football when I was a freshman. I, if I wanted to do that, I should have gone to Michigan or Ohio. They wouldn't have changed my mentality, my consciousness. We're out of control in certain areas of society and winning is the only thing. It doesn't matter what you do or how you do it or what you do to your opponent or how you cheat to get there, that winning is the only idea. Did Cornell win on a referee's mistake? The picture record tells a dramatic story. And for the Ivy League to stand up and say, yes, winning is wonderful and excelling is terrific, but let's do it within a framework, within a guidelines, and let's do it in a moral way. Here's the fifth down. Scholes trying the same play. He runs to the right, looking for the pass receiver, finds his man, and this time connects with Murphy for the touchdown. Officially, Cornell wins. Dartmouth stunned and dismayed, but 48 hours later, Cornell admits the mistake and headlines tell the story. First photo finish in football history. Cornell gave up the national championship because it was the right thing to do. That's Ivy League football.